one. This is a hot one. Hear all about it. Hear all about it. Hot one. Does the MCU actually need R-rated properties? This is coming from comicbook.com. Again, that's comicbook.com. Excellent website. Excellent resource. I cover this site a lot because it's one of my very, very favorites. Again, that's comicbook.com. Check it out. This article is done by their United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We, we are, are comics. comics. Please note, Hydra have been unsubscribing UCU family members. These are some of the reports that I have been receiving from the United Comics Universe family members. So please check to see if you are still subscribed to the channel. Also share our videos to others so they can see how awesome and different our channel is. Also like up. Each like up is a morale boost to all that is in the fight to take down Hydra. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified on the upcoming comic news. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining us. Please tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the fight to take down Hydra. Representative Adam Bernhardt, and this was on August the 26th. Does the MCU actually need R-rated properties? Hmm. Well, I know how I feel about it. I'm going to give it some more thought. I'll let you know my opinion on it at the end. Let's get into this. It seems like the latest fad in entertainment is begging for R-rated everything. A growing contingent of cinephiles insist things need the big old R to be palatable. With the Marvel Cinematic Universe growing into the world's largest entertainment franchise, it's a topic fans can't get enough of. They keep asking, is Blade going to be rated R? Or they insist Disney Plus isn't going to be up to snuff. <laughs> because the harshest content the platform will have would be PG-13 or TV-14. The question begs to be asked, why does the MCU need R-rated movies or television shows? Outside of the gratuitous amounts of violence and Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, dropping an F-bomb twice per sentence, what does an R rating do to help bolster the MCU? Why are we already writing things off for not getting that coveted R rating. What would an R rating do to help the storytelling more than the lesser rated movies already had? To date, the MCU has made nearly 23 billion worldwide without a single R rated movie, in fact. You'd have to wade through 16 superhero properties before you'd find the first R rated movie on the box office chart in Deadpool and Deadpool 2. Is a few spots later and the critical acclaim Logan. Wow, Logan. You know what I'm saying? Logan. If you haven't seen it, you made a mistake. Critically acclaimed Logan hardly makes it into the top 50 at spot number 47. Movies like Watchmen, Blade, and Blade 2 are number 72, number 83, and number 79 respectively. Outside of the Deadpool franchise, it's pretty safe to say R-rated superhero flicks don't perform too hot at the box office, certainly not as well as their PG-13 counterparts. In an industry where every decision is made based upon the almighty dollar, you already have the answer to the main question right there. <laughs> There's an already a massive group writing off the freshly announced Moon Knight series because it'll be on Disney+. Plus. But for what reason? Moon Knight, for the most part, has been a tamer character for most of his existence. It wasn't until the mid-2000s he went off the deep end and cut the face of Raoul Bushman. Is it necessary for fans to see Mark Spector, Filet, a street-level criminal for newcomers to understand the character? No, probably not. Fans seem to forget the fact every time Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, or Hawkeye, Clint Barton, fire their weapons, they're certainly not shooting to maim. Hell, even Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 had enough phallic jokes that'll make Deadpool himself blush. R-rated movies aren't always better. Just look at the latest Hellboy reboot to see that. 
UCU United Comics Universe Shonen Show here. Hmm, how do you feel about that? Do we need to have R-rated films? Do we need that mighty R-rated? Do we need that mighty R-rated flair to keep the MCU hot, to keep the MCU alive? Well, my opinion on this is I'm all about the youth the growing up fans now if we make it R rated that means they will have to wait quite some time before they are able to see these films and I think that would just hinder the momentum that the MCU has they have not relied on R rating they relied on a rating that's more universal of course it's because the almighty dollar but in my opinion it just so happens to be in line with in my opinion the ethical part as well we should not make films that is going to isolate an audience especially children especially since children have already been a part of the MCU films thus far and it has done very very well I think that it would be a wrongdoing in fact to suddenly change the style change the R rating and exclude them from growing up and continuing to enjoy the current MCU story because it's all connected so if we have an R rating that means many 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 fans will no longer be able to watch these films and to me that's the meat of the thing that's the most important thing is that these children who enjoy these MCU films will no longer be able to see them that cuts back on what your potential funding for these products because that would lower the projected amount that they would make so that's a no-no for two important reasons mine it would cut off the young fans from seeing what have been for most of their life so I don't think that would be right and to keep the MCU alive let's face it you need that money you need that almighty dollar to inject into it to keep it alive to keep it worthwhile for the big execs who is about that money but Jonin Show says I think you can keep it rated just like it is and continue on with the same success not exclude the youngins out there and still make really entertaining really captivating really uh, visually stunning films like they've already been doing so they've been doing it good so far let's trust that they can continue to do well without that rating but that's my opinion what do you think let us know down below and please do not forget to subscribe hit that like button and get notified so you can continue to get the intel that you like the way that you like it for the fans created everything you see here by the fans by your hosts by your representatives of the comic world your family the United Comics Universe where you where I where we are comics United Comic Universe store is now open where you can get awesome gear from leggings to hoodies. When you feel a little cold at night and the fireplace is just not working for you, drink some of your delicious hot chocolate in your UCU mug. Drink it up. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, wait. When your feet is feeling a little cold at night, put on your United Comic Universe socks to get the warmness only the United Comic Universe socks can give you. Are you ready to gear up and take on Hydra? Well, the links is down below. Hit those links to gain access to all the awesome gear where you can join the fight to help take down Hydra. This has been United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comics. So, you like the video? Duh! That is why they're here, because they like the video. <laughs> awesome! So you subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell and also leave a comment down below. Also click one or two or three 
or one of these playlists is going to be put somewhere around here so you'll see them <laughs> to get more comic news. This has been another awesome video brought to you by United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comics.